we're gonna have an opportunity right now, okay? To activate faith. And here's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm begging you not to put your faith in a person. Guys, people will let you down. People have let me down, people have let you down. I'm not putting my faith in a person today. I'm putting my faith in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. I'm putting my faith in His name. I'm putting my faith in His benefits. I'm putting my faith in His will. I'm putting my faith in His heart. I'm putting my faith in His promises. All right, and what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna have an opportunity, all right, to pray for you, all right? Now, if you got a question, where does that come from? We, we turn to James 5. Here it is. It says, is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Does that make sense? <laughs> Is anyone happy? Well, what should you do? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. Oil is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. It's basically saying God is in this moment. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. And we believe that today. We're gonna have opportunity to do that. Listen, I was, I was, I was trying to, uh, to think of all the, the healings that have happened in the church over the years, and I can't because there's just so many. Um, but I remember one of the first times I said, wow, I just got healed. It was not when I was 14. I, I had no clue what was going on. Um, it was when uh, my back was in excruciating pain and a friend of mine who I knew believed in healing, had faith for healing, um, I asked him to pray for me and instantly I was healed. My wife, Summer and I, we had, uh, we've shared our faith story with you before, but um, um, she was told by doctors, you cannot conceive, it's not gonna happen. Um, and then she got prayed for in an environment like this and now we have two little miracle sons. And. I, I and we have prayed for so many couples specifically who have uh, been unable to conceive and uh, I've dedicated their children to the Lord on this platform right here. This church is full of miracle children who, who doctors said were impossible. I got good news for you. What's impossible with man is possible with God. Um, we had um, a staff member recently who had a tangible, she could feel a growth on her kidney and uh, had a few of the other staff pray for her. And it, then she was like, what? And she went to the doctors and they did um, a scan on her and found a circle on her kidney. And they say, well, something was there, but it's not there now. And I don't know what it is, but you're fine. And um, my wife was just recently praying for somebody who had a strange, literally like a growth on her head and as she prayed for her the growth went away um, uh, we have another part of the, the family here a member of the family here who his entire family suffers from debilitating migraines and for over 15 years he struggled with migraines like literally just go into the room lay down cry and turn the lights off and uh, he got prayed for in an environment like this and now he's the only person in his family who doesn't have migraines and hasn't for years um, uh, last time I was overseas, uh, saw a guy get healed of cancer. We had a friend of ours who got healed of HPV. And some of you know what that is. That is an incurable sexually transmitted disease. Guess what? God said, what's impossible with man is possible with God. And I don't know what's on you today. I don't know. You, you may be thinking, well, no, I deserve that. Listen, she thought she, she deserved it. But the heart of a good father is for healing. Um, one of our other staff members was just recently praying for a woman who had had chronic back pain because um, her legs um, were different um, lengths. And so she had always just kind of walked with this, this little half inch sort of a thing and it just totally thrown her back out of whack. And as she prayed for her, her leg grew out. And now I know some of you are like, whoa, wait a second. I can do the headache thing, but the leg thing, well, I don't know if you remember, but there was a part where Jesus took dirt and spit on it and made an eyeball and put it into a dude's head. I don't know what you're gonna do with that, but what's impossible with man is possible with God. So what we're gonna do here over these next minutes, okay? The band's gonna sing and we're gonna pray. 
And I'm gonna invite you to step outside your comfort zone, to come up here and say, hey, this is what's hurting in my body. This is what's healing. This is what I need prayer for. And we're gonna pray a prayer of faith over you. You are not gonna hear, Lord, if it's your will, because we already know what God's will is. All right, so I invite you, not for someday, for today. Today is your day. Let's pray. God, I thank you right now that your spirit is in the room. The kingdom is in the room. As it is in heaven, let it be done on earth. That's how Jesus taught us to pray. God, I thank you for your heart. I thank you for your promises. I thank you for your will. I thank you, God, that your your blessings, that your benefits, God, I thank you that your name is Jehovah Rapha. And so right now, God, we invite you to get out of the Bible and to step into the room that we believe and we trust right now that we have a supernatural God. And I believe the kingdom's about to come right now in Jesus' name. So we invite you to step out of your seats and come forward and let's see God do what he does best. This is Maria, and Maria just came forward with a lot of pain in her knees and your neck, right? Because of arthritis. How long did you have arthritis? I fought for like six years. Six years? So what, what's going on right now? Right now I feel I don't have any pain at all. Thank you. Yes. I feel good. Amen. Listen, healing is not complicated. Don't try and complicate this. Grab a hold of God's promises in Jesus Christ. That's this moment, okay? Step out of your seat. Listen, don't miss your moment. Okay, let's keep singing. Oh, I love Jesus. Do you want to? Do you want? 
Okay, he's, he's still doing what he's doing. It's a bit overwhelming for me. My daughter, Emily, we went to the doctor and she had to have these inserts made for her because her ankles were examined. And they said she has the ankles of an 80 year old woman. She doesn't have the bones that allow a child to run, to walk, to play. And so I have had to be the mean mommy and tell her you can't run today. You can't play like the other kids. And now she can run. So I've been having hip flexor pain for about three years now. It's like it's, it might keep me from my dream, but today I've been healed through the through the name of Lord. He has helped me heal me, and I feel better. Like I don't feel or like anything anymore. I could walk without any pain, and I just thank thank you, Lord, for healing me and for helping me accomplish my dream. Hi, I've been having trouble with my arm the last five months. I haven't been able to raise it, and I could finally raise it with no pain. Oh, that's awesome. Still doing it. One more. <laughs> been part of this family for a long time. Why don't you share a little bit of what just happened? Well, I've been having pains in my leg. Um, they don't know what it is. It's all a blood clock. So we've been through all your sign and we've been through tests and all kinds of things. My feet just sore. And just now, may I pray for me? My feet couldn't even carry my shoes. And my shoes started getting big. I mean, just loose. This is, I wear a size 9. I gotta wear a size 11. Can't wear no heels. It's been going on for. But my, this sole is just going down and down and down. And I love praise and watch it. That's my favorite. I couldn't even dance this morning. I mean, the pain was so bad. And I give God praise because he told me to stop praying for others and pray for myself. Because I pray for a lot of people, but God said, you got to step out in faith. And it took me a while from my seat because I prayed for myself. And, uh, and I came out and I gave God the glory because I couldn't even walk this morning out of my car. My son drove this morning. I couldn't even get in my car to drive. And it been, it been so hard on me. But I thank God. And he's an awesome God. And one of my main things in this church is the children ministry. And I dance with them. But the past few weeks, I couldn't even dance. I've been sitting down. And the kids me asked me, Miss Cleo, are you okay? What you, what's wrong? But I gave God all the praise and all the glory. And I said, thank you. And I wish y'all could see that, that um, her shoe is like way too big now. When she came in here, like her foot was so swollen that she needed a big shoe. Now she's going to have to buy some new shoes. Sorry. Sorry about that. You're healed now. So I guess you got to buy some new shoes. But if you didn't hear, understand what she was saying, she, she serves in big kids and she loves dancing with the kids and hasn't been able to dance with them for a long time. But now she can. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to informally dismiss, but some of you I know, I know how human nature is. Some of you are like, oh, I didn't want people looking at me, so I didn't go for it. Um, we're going we're gonna to linger in here a few minutes longer. I'm going to pray over you guys. We'll be dismissed. But um, let's, if you need to linger, linger. We'll have our leaders. We'll linger in here. The band will linger in here for a few more minutes. Let, let me just issue this final challenge because I need to do this before you leave. I believe this, me, I believe this, that for a lot of us when it comes to healing, the real question is, what are you willing to put up with? Some of you, you just learn to cope with this. It's one of the worst words in the English language is cope. Some of you learn to cope with a back thing or a foot thing or an eye thing, internal thing. 
And then you freak out when it's cancer and you never exercise your faith for a cold and now a cancer comes. And I'm just telling you, I invite you. The heart of God isn't for you to cope. The heart of God is for you to be healed. And so this, this front area right here is gonna remain open for a little bit longer. So let me pray with you guys and then you'll be dismissed, but some of you can still come down here, all right? Father, I thank you that you're alive and that you're real and that you're good that you're always good. Jesus Christ, we worship you. You are amazing. You are lovely. You are beautiful. There is no one like Jesus. And I thank you for the word of God. And I pray even right now, God, that we would leave here grasping, fingers white, grasping onto the promises of God fulfilled in Jesus Christ. That as we leave here today, we're not leaving just kind of this environment here. God, we're, we're leaving and we're taking the promises with us surrounding us everywhere we go the kingdom has come and i charge your people today god to go and be messengers of the gospel preaching the good news healing the sick and bringing deliverance everywhere they go until we meet again father may we be engaged in the kingdom business oh for the glory of jesus and everybody said amen